good. We're gonna pull a twin flame reading. Let's see what we get. Okay, so the time has come. The time has come is what I'm getting is what they're showing me here. The time has come. Success bomb of the deck. We have someone here who wants to nurture, respect you, protect you, but you're questioning it. We have protection in the reverse. We also have someone who's very generous with their energy, who's also very pretty realistic in their mind. They're not, I would say if you're like a dreamy sign, they would be more of a grounded sign, okay? Possibly could be earth or this is just the way that they think. And then we have you over here, over analyzing. So this is what I'm getting like the masculine energy is more of like, wants to come in, wants to nurture. Show you my cards here. Wants to come in, wants to protect, wants to nurture, wants to respect, wants to like conquer all odds. Very realistic in the mind. And very generous, though you feel like they're not for some reason. You feel like they don't respect you. And then we have the analyst in the mind with you, Divine Feminines. Attraction in the reverse and empathy in the upright. And the reason I feel like these two are in the reverse is because something here that's transforming for you, Divine Feminines. Yeah, you will be rewarded. Yeah, there's something here that's transforming for you. And I really feel like it has a lot to do with the solar activity. And what the sun is going through. It's almost kind of like you're mirroring the sun right now. Which would make you, in essence, like a moon. And I feel like, in a sense, you're like going through what I talked about with the Pluto and Aquarius. Where you're like refracting into all these infinite mirrors of yourself. Where your, sorry, where your mirror is like looking, like what my phone just said. Where your mirror is looking back at you and like trying to come towards you and you're like refracting into all these like different avenues of self and they're like following that in a sense it's like you're leading a trail of something some sort of adventure where you're wanting them to find certain things out about you about yourself that you're still discovering about yourself that's like it's like this Hansel and Gretel trail and it's quite challenging yeah because you're being the sun you are being the sun and it's it's challenging because the sun is going through a transformation, exploration of self right now. And you're at this place where like you just, you don't really care about anything else except like going within and like discovering more about yourself. And well, ultimately you're also wanting to do this with your person, Divine Feminines. It's like you are wanting that. But what's happening is like the sun is like, sucking you in and like pulling you into self I hope this is making sense because this is what they're telling me and so it's really it's like it's hard it's a hard balance right now yeah so there are some things that you're receiving that they're wanting you to keep quiet that spirits wanting you to keep quiet there are some perspectives that you're receiving that spirits wanting you to keep quiet divine feminines as you do go within during this time and I feel like while you do this you are actually helping your counterpart your twin flame your masculine divine masculine to go within and do the same but it's more so like they I feel like they understand themselves to a degree where they're kind of like at this point where they're just kind of kind of wanting to pursue you but you, like you're at this point where you're kind of wanting to just like go within and while you go within you're also wanting to discover more about them where they're just kind of like progressing after you in the physical and you're kind of like doing this like inner workings of self and of them 
I don't know how to, maybe transmutation too. I don't know how to describe it really. It's kind of hard. What they're telling me to describe is really hard to like balance out passion right now. Um, it could feel like very like a loss of hope when it comes to romance and things, but don't like, it's just the energy is what they're saying. Like literally these cards balance in the reverse passion in the reverse the star card in the upright we have the two of shells which is the romance card in the reverse and the magician in the reverse the energy card so literally that's what's happening right now so any other messages for right now for the energies There was a twist of a phase and a twist of luck and a twist of perception when it came to people pleasing and also self-respect. And there was a bigger perspective that needed to be discovered and viewed by the both of you. And I don't know if you passed this test or not. It's not giving clarity on that because I think for everyone it's gonna be different. But if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're going to come to a point where you're going to have to trust the Divine Masculine to sort of lead the way with some perspectives of what you're learning right now. And this is what's preparing you. So it was kind of like this self-love, also simultaneous self-sacrifice. And it's really hard to balance right now for you. Divine Feminines. Because there's a lot of subconscious patternings coming up a lot of things that you thought maybe you healed from or maybe you thought you know overcame in the past like even like self-projected illusions maybe that you placed on your path as like a self-sabotage kind of thing you're really having to go within and heal at this moment in time okay and that's the truth but you don't want to like face the truth it's like you don't want to see that you don't want to you don't want to face the truth. Whoa. Yeah. It just flew out again. On top of what I was just talking about with this twist of perspective. And, and there will be justice coming in too. Like any kind of like... I feel like there was like manipulation and also truth and also transformation. It's like everything's going to come into balanced like justice is coming so it's all going to make sense here soon yeah there's some some kind of influence here for some of you that could be kind of off change of perspective union possessiveness sorrow change of attitude Yeah, so some of you could be dealing with some sort of energy or energies that like you're just really needing to transmute at this time, both in self and in other people. And I feel like this is literally basically like the spiritual war that we've all been witnessing, hearing about, going through. It's still coming. It's still going on. I want to um, flip to a page and read it here. And this is uh, Alice in Wonderland. And I just, I want to do this because, oh, and we flipped right to the Griffith, which is like, so I'm getting like Tartarian because the Tartaria emblem on the flag is the Griffin or dragon, you could say. But um, I'm getting like, there's a lot of like past life and lost lands knowledge coming up to the forefront. Um, there was a, a thing I posted, which I'll insert here if you haven't seen it on my Insta. And if you're not following me there, you definitely should because I post a lot more on there too. Um, just like a lot of stuff that I come across and find um, as I see fit. But there was this article that recently came up about the sunspots and the solar activity. And whenever there's a geomagnetic storm, solar storm or sunspots, it's actually proven in uh, government documents of the CIA. If you go to CIA.gov, you can search anything basically on there. 
but there's legitimate um, proof that the CIA studied human subjects with remote viewing psychic capabilities and they would utilize them more during these times of the geomagnetic storms, the solar storms and the sunspots because that's when the remote viewing experiences peak and they can get a lot more information that's more detailed from their subjects trying to, you know, either locate criminals or criminal activity or whatever they're interested in viewing. So, okay, Bodhi, how does that explain all the shit that's been going on? Right here. You ready? Let me twist myself all up. So for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the CIA website and the declassification of all kinds of goodies, I would like to introduce these things right here to you. This is from the CIA's website, and I'm gonna show you a few different things that talk about their correlation and their scientific findings of how solar flares, solar activity, EMF, all of the crazy things affect people with psychic abilities, just like you. In other words, you're not fucking crazy. Okay, well, not with, not with this. Maybe, maybe somewhere else. It is known that human capabilities are influenced by environmental factors, various frequencies, etc. Solar activity, man-made structures. But I want you to look at letter C, number one right there. Solar variations do seem to influence RF capabilities. What are RF capabilities? Remote viewing. For those of you guys that don't know what remote viewing is, here you go. It's basically a psychic spy using psychic abilities and gifts to be able to see into places that you are far, far away from. And the CIA has been using it for a long, long few decades. So they've done a lot of studies on how solar activities, solar flares, etc., affect their remote viewers because that affects their spy information. There you go. I want you to read that right there. It does seem to influence RF capabilities. And I want you to look at number, letter A, excuse me, not number, direct solar ELF radiation from solar flares. Indirect effects from solar radiation, higher frequencies, etc., seem to be capable of trapping and reflecting man-made ELF within our biosphere. And then right here in this geophysical effects study, also released by the CIA, they're looking at the possible effects of ambient geophysical low frequency electromagnetic factors on remote viewing performance, i.e. your psychic abilities. So they took a look at all of the different solar flux levels. They took a look at what all it correlates with, what it causes issues with, with their own remote viewers. And they even looked at all different types of frequencies from three to 300 Hertz. Now, what I want you to look at is paragraph U there, the second one that starts with the word preliminary. So they weren't looking to see if it caused a problem. What they were looking for is to see if they could basically tap into that solar activity and boost their remote viewers. Some correlations between RF performance and solar sunspot number was found, which if substantiated by further data would indicate the possibility that performance might improve immediately after a peak in the sunspot number and would deteriorate just before the sunspot number peaks. Let me show you that again. Let me show you all, all that, all that again. It's obviously pretty intense storms going on. This is just from the last 24 hours. We have had a ton of X-class flares, as you can see up there in the graph, and this is just over the last two or three days. Again, I wanna point out the number 113 in the corner down there. So if you wanna know why your abilities have either been shut off or through the roof, there you go. Do you wanna know why you have felt completely drained? Why you have felt like not doing anything, but your abilities are so intense that you in no way want to people? Why suddenly dreams are off the chart? Why people's prophetic dreams? Why people's clairs are intense in a major massive way? I'm just saying what I'm saying. And so is the CIA. Here's your homework. Fall down the rabbit hole. Then you can learn to tap into all this energy and really boost your gifts. You're welcome. I recently had a lot of like spontaneous remote viewing experiences. I know a lot of you have that have messaged me and written me. Um, and so that's a very 
common thing right now and it's actually something that you can utilize for self and i think this is what the solar energies are trying to show me and tell me through you through me to you is that you can utilize this energy to go within to find out more about self and to kind of like almost in a sense remote view into past lives um you know knowledge of, that's been hidden within your dna because the sun is bringing up and activating your dna it's bringing up these memories these these inclusions and and fractals of mind and knowings and literal past history and so like tartaria could be coming up lemuria could be coming up atlantis could be coming up um and i've been actually observing that and viewing that a lot within the collective recently um i'm trying to like read through here and see what what they're trying to tell me you are all pardoned so as they walked off together alice heard the king say in a low voice to the company generally you are all pardoned come that's a good thing she said to herself for she had felt quite unhappy at the number of executions the queen had ordered so being pardoned from maybe self sabotage self limitation self doubts like you're you're seeing the truth at the core of your being of what you've gone through of what you even like been programmed through and what you've put yourself through so divine feminine is like and you're going to be reflecting and refracting this to your divine masculines as well which is why they, it's important they watch too because they're going to notice this coming up as well um because you both kind of reflect